We're straight into game one. Wow. And that's exactly what we're expecting. We have been talking over and over again about Jackie Love and Mako and how they're probably the best uh, ball lane in the LPL. The cleanse right there. Through the they haven't even touched the wave, Munch! That's a stun, but a flash wave. forward from Hung. As Jackie Love chunked low. That might be enough with Weiwei now being pulled to the bottom lane. The jungler already has to try and move bot lane. By the way, it's Sichuani versus Xin Zhao in this bottom lane. Weiwei moves in. Jackie Love's still level one, so won't have his arcade shift available. He's going to flash forwards. Of course he is. It's Jackie Love, but he goes down to Gala. Damage to dominate the lane, but I suppose just happy with the matchup as it is and goes for a cull instead. So. Oh, nice here we go again. <laughs> Round two. Hung <laughs> just takes another massive chunk of damage. Won't lead to a kill here. That aftershock just about saving Hung's life, I think, is now Hold a on. flash forward from 369 in the top side. Tian set up. Wind becomes lightning. And a spear becomes a kill in the top side. Oh. He no less. 369 having a bit of a struggle up in this top side. He's managing to stay even in CS for now. Zika. Holding the wave away from him and starting to really win out these trades. Weiwei's moving into the top side. The rune prison to set up for the glacial prison. So many prisons and 369 is into penitentiary. Yeah, 369 from from the bot lane of top esports and has netted them a lot of advantages towards the top side of the map. It's constantly pushed. They're constantly one to two levels up on their counterparts. Uh, Scout is just going to check in, but there's Smite on Tien. Thank you I for mean, worth a the shot. extra damage, I guess. <laughs> nervous start, very aggressive start from Jackie Love and Maker. We've had a bit of action in the top lane as well. But aside from that, very cautious. And honestly, for top esports and for LNG, what we've seen for the last few months, this really has been the style that they start to lean into. Gala uh -oh. has to flash. Oh, side steps away from the Glacial Fisher as well. But with one more Q and an auto, Jackie Love will find a lane kill. And it shows you how impressive this duo is. The Ezreal plus the Brom. We've got so many tools to keep chasing. Even though I need to comment Gala, he had pretty good happy feet right there. He was dodging the Q from the Brom. He was dodging the ultimate. We're going to pan onto a ward. The TP is going to be coming in. They're looking at Jackie Love and Mako. No flashes. Scout wants to try and make something happen. Cleanse available for Jackie Love. Arcane shift. Cleanse is away from a stun. Hung underneath the tower here as Jackie Love tries to sidestep everything. The CC is enough in the end. And Scout cuts him to pieces. And Gala overextends without and his I mean, support. If you remember, Jackie Love and Mako hit level 3. While Gala and Hung were still level one, but Scout with an early roam, or at least an early lean towards bot, set them up to protect his bot lane and to keep Jackie Love and make up and snowballing too hard. Jackie Love now two deaths on the scoreboard already, but he's getting himself some plating. He's got plenty of kills. He's looking to... Oh, he's got one kill. It's maybe not plenty, but... <laughs> Deer and Zinzao and Brom, Ezreal, super sleepy in those teamfights as well. So every single one of them has so much agency in terms of getting dived. That LNG's task, even though they're pretty even in terms of gold, and then they're ahead even. Oh, QE, 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 QE from Zika finishes off the tower. Okay, he's not actually looking for the one he wants. <laughs> he goes for... The Realm Warp gets himself out to safety. You can see Jackie Love and Mako were moving their way up as well. Herald has spawned onto the map. And now a potential dive under the in him from the side of LNG. They're going to thread a tier two down in the bot side at 15 minutes on the clock. Great play from LNG to punish top esports road. That was nice. Three towers with a lot of engage potential and CC to lock it down in a straight up five versus five. So getting your advantages through the side lanes, making sure you've got the items, and then you can force the fights. Overall, just fantastic. It's like Top Esports, time to move in. 9k on the Drake. This could well end up in a 50-50. Mako happy to be the one to walk on forwards. Trying to use that Celestial Opposition. Trying to dodge everything so it's not propped too early here. So he can be that tank. Mako stands and tanks Scout to Zika. Looking for a way around. Hunk flashes for the engagement creep. Immediately disengages. Mako blocks the bullet time. And now everybody diving forwards. True Shot Barrage there. But LNG oh! caught by the slicing Maelstrom. It's huge, but it's not huge enough. It's tiny, in fact. Top Esports sent away LNG. The health bars are just too strong. But Jackie Love goes down in the end. TN alone perhaps can find more. Gets one. Looks for Gala as well. The red buff working out. Wind becomes lightning and he finds the triple. A 
Quadra in fact, Damage before he dies. Let's look at this again. <laughs> Q only available for him. He's gonna mark the W onto Misfortune. E afterwards. Great, great stuff. The Conqueror, the Triumph coming through as well after the kills. TN coming in clutch for his team. <laughs> 369 is like spam picking Gala. He's like, this guy, this guy, go for that guy. Great win. <laughs> win becomes lightning across two targets as well to set up the follow up onto Gala. Beautiful team fighting from TN. Jackie Love on a knife's edge to turning it into a big play for himself. So, bullet time going to come on through. Look at that combo. Mako almost goes down despite the unbreakable. He is still alive in the Glacial Fissure. Well, actually, pull him safety. Way, way the one that has to retreat instead. And Scout now on the top side of the fight as well. Cream in a 1v1, but he's out of mana. And Scout finds his mark. LNG now charged down the mid lane, or maybe even look towards Baron. Top esports overextend right there, instantly getting punished. What's on that bottom side of the map? Doesn't look like something LNG want to contest right now. They got that one Drake for themselves in the previous fight, the one that set up TN for a quadra kill. Maybe that's what scared them off. <laughs> TN is in the area, and uh, that's one pointy end on that spear that they don't want to meet again. And I feel like this is exactly what LNG were looking for when they were calling off that dragon play. They know that they will have the items available to them to fight top esports in three minutes when it spawns or when it's Baron time. Or maybe it's now catching Mako in the river. Unbreakable has already been used. Gala has bullet time if he wants to use it as well. And there we go. The call made by LNG. Great pick. And suddenly... Baron wide open to them. It's only the support that's gone down, but I think you're happy to take a 4v5. Never mind the fun, Jackie Everybody dives on top and LNG. Wow, what a way to suddenly find an advantage. Two picks back to back. The bot lane from top esports just removed from the equation. Two dead. However, Tien is still around. If he wants to dive in oh and try God. to steal that Baron. Oh, one. 3 6 oh is going down as well. Oh, my God, LNG. They're so efficient. The speed at which these players drop. Everybody on the same page. Gorgeous setup for the Baron at top. Esports found wanting. LNG. Like top esports have been kind of called out by LNG in this game. LNG very much the ones in control and very much the ones are looking like the better team on the day right now. Top Esports desperate and to hang on. 5,000 gold lead though. 29 minutes and LNG continues to take these towers. They've got Baron, they've got the push, and they can very safely walk into this river. Top Esports are bleeding slowly but surely. It's so difficult for them to actually make a play here because your side lanes are constantly bleeding. Yone is stronger than any of your solo laners and Rise is stronger than any of your solo laners at this point. Nice try from Jackie Love to steal away the soul there. Tien on the top side. That's two ultimates used. Solar Flare. Try and capture Tien, but that's going to force his flash out. And suddenly, there's not a lot left in the tank for top esports. They've already used Mako's ult. They've already used Tien's ult. They haven't just completely conceded control of everything. Death Cap has been finished for 369. So in a fight, we've got to keep our eyes on that round. Every single member from the set of top esports has completed three items. They could catch them in this choke point would be huge. I think it's very clever for top esports to sort of threaten the Baron. Oh, the Ooh. solar flare on multiple players. Scout dives onto the back line. Jackula flashes away, but he's flashed away from his team who are all in Tantas. Cream tries to disengage and he will save Mako's life. Two for zero in favor of LNG. As a few... Poke spells coming out from Jackie Love. It is Tien and Mako by his side. Weiwei is about to be by his side as well as Hang, who are looking for flanks. Tien forced a flash as well. It's as easy as that for Weiwei. And that'll be Drake secured by LNG. Nicely done. Great little flank on the end of the play as well. I think Hang and Weiwei both getting big value out of their war mugs. Being a part of the fight, backing away for a second and then re engaging once more. Yeah, if you don't have a lot of your engage tools, it's really hard to sort of keep up with top esports. Again, Brom, Ezreal, very slippery. Tien had his flash right there, had to this is had to use it to get out into safety. Tien is around, and there is the blast going both available. So, both solo laners, top esports have TP available, so this becomes extremely dicey for LNG. If Cream and 369 join the play, 
That's TP behind oh, enemy him, lines. It's too early from Hong. The solar flare doesn't find the stun. In goes Scout. 369 has slicing Maelstrom. And he'll lock the Yone up. But there's no damage there to follow it up. And Jackie fell instead. Top Esports try and make a hero play. I think they realized their days were numbered. And LNG, they're the ones holding the calendar. They charge down mid lane. And that might just be game. Yeah, that was the last chance from Top Esports to make any play onto the map. Zika is also going to flank Mako, not allowing him to hold the wave right there. 369 pushed out of the play too. They're going to at least take that inhibitor. 25 seconds on both TN and Jackie Love. LNG do not necessarily have a beefy wave. There's another one coming. 369. Wait, was wait. Playing. Wait, wait. We're stopping the recall coming out from 369, which means Mako goes down in a 1v3. The tower's not quite enough. There are There's minions no time. underneath the bot lane tower. Maybe they could go for a second inhib instead. 369 moves up as five seconds until TN's back up. LNG wants to try and finish this one. Scout flashes for the play and finds 369. Gorgeous game on the Yone. LNG will find the win. TN tries to defend, but there is nothing left to be done for Top Esports. They have been called out by LNG. Cream, he's managed to find four of them, but he's also found his...